Chemistry lecture number 76, solutions, percent by mass, and volume. A solution is a hom homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. Water is often mixed with other substances to make a solution. Most of the time, smaller amounts of substances are dissolved into larger amounts of water. In this circumstance, water is the solvent, and the substance dissolved into the water is the solute. The solvent is usually the substance in greater quantity, and the solute is the substance in lesser quantity. Notice I wrote usually, okay, this doesn't always the case, but most of the time the solvent is the substance in greater quantity. A solution can be described as dilute or concentrated. A dilute solution has a relatively small amount of solute dissolved into it. A concentrated solution has a relatively large amount of solute dissolved into it. For example, a cup of coffee with one teaspoon of sugar is relatively more dilute than a cup of coffee with eight teaspoons of sugar dissolved into it. One way to describe the concentration of a solution made of two liquids is percent by volume. This tells the volume of solute in 100 milliliters of the total solution. For example, rubbing alcohol sold in stores often has a concentration of 70% isopropyl alcohol. And this means that if you had 100 milliliters of the solution, 70 milliliters of it would be isopropyl alcohol. The rest would be water. So here's an example. This is a container of uh, rubbing alcohol. And notice that it says 70% right here. So it just means that if you had 100 mils of the solution, 70 mils of it would be isopropyl alcohol. That's percent by volume. Okay, so mathematically, percent by volume is volume of the solute divided by volume of the solution. This is the total volume of the solution uh, times 100. So let's try a, a problem using this formula. A volume of 80 milliliters of ethanol is diluted to a volume of 250 milliliters with water. Find the percent by volume. All right, let's figure out what they give us and what they ask for. So. It says find the percent by volume, so we don't know what that is. 80 mils of ethanol is diluted to a volume of 250 milliliters. So this is the total volume of the solution. So the total volume of the solution is 250, and the volume of the ethanol is 80. All right, so that's the solute. So the percent by volume, volume of the solute, 80. Volume of the solution, the total solution volume is 80. I'm sorry, 250 times 100, all right? So if you did 80 divided by 250 times 100, you get 32% uh, by volume. So when you put this V slash V, it means percent by volume. So what does this 32% mean? It means that if you had 100 mils of the solution, uh, 32 milliliters of it would be ethanol, and uh, the rest of it would be uh, water. Let's talk about another way to measure uh, the concentration of the solution. If a solid is dissolved into a liquid, the concentration is measured in percent by mass. Uh, to calculate percent by mass, you need the mass of the solute, measured in grams, and the total mass of the solution. So the formula for percent by mass, it's similar to percent by volume. Percent by mass is mass of solute divided by total mass of the solution times 100%. So let's solve a problem in using uh, percent by mass. And it's very, very similar to percent by volume. Find the percent by mass if 7 grams of NaCl is dissolved in a solution whose total mass is 80 grams. So let's figure out what they ask for and what they uh, give you. Find the percent by mass, so that's what they're asking for. 7 grams of NaCl is dissolved into the solution, so that tells us that this is the solute. So the mass of the solute is 7 grams, and then the total mass of the solution is 80. All right. So here's our formula, let's just start substituting values. We're solving percent by mass. Mass of the solute is 7. Mass of the solution, the total mass of the solution, is going to be 80. 7 divided by 80 times 100 gives you 8.75% uh, percent by mass. So the m slash m means uh, percent by mass. So what does it mean? It means that if you had 100 grams of this solution, it would contain 8.75 grams of NaCl. That's what this figure means, 8.75% mass percent. Let's try one more problem with uh, mass percent. 
Suppose you want to make uh, 2 times 10 to the third grams of a glucose solution that is 2.8% uh, by mass. Um, how much glucose do you need? So this is just another way of saying 2,000. Anyway, let's figure out what they ask for and what they give you. Well, they want to know how much glucose you need. So we want to know the mass of glucose. We don't know what it is. We'll substitute the letter M for it. So we're dissolving glucose into uh, the solution. So we're basically we're adding glucose to uh, water and we want to know how much glucose we're adding to it. And We're going to use the letter M to represent it. Total mass of the solution we want is 2,000 grams and then the percent by mass is given as 2.8 percent. Alright, so here's our formula percent by mass is 2.8 percent. The mass of solute or the mass of glucose, we don't know, but we're going to use the letter M to represent it. Total mass of the solution is 2,000 grams all right, times 100 percent. So I'm going to rewrite this without the units next to it. 2.8, so I'm going to write 2.8 over 1 equals M over 2,000 times 100. I guess I could put that over 1 too. So we want to solve for m. So if we were to cross multiply 1 times m times 100, equals 2.8 times 2,000 times 1. And we want to solve for M, so we'll divide both sides by 100. Alright, so the hundreds cancel. M equals 2.8 times 2,000 divided by 100. And if you do that, you should get 56. 56, whoops, 0 0.0 grams of glucose. So what this means is that if you want to prepare uh, 2,000 grams of a solution at this concentration, we'd take 56 grams of glucose and then we'd add water to it until the total mass of the solution was 2,000 grams. All right? So that's how you would solve that problem. You'd need 56 grams of glucose. All right. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 76, Solutions, Percent by Mass, and Volume.